Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. The Ganae creation era was a time where everything was in balance within nature. All the animals, all the creatures of the bush spoke the same language. There were no wars, there were no fights, there was no hatred. The following story occurs in these mountainous hills of the southwest region of the Ghanai country. Currently, this is known as the Tarabalga National Park, which is located in Gippsland, Victoria, Australia. In these mountainous hills, you will find a lyrebird, Wuriel, that when it wakes up in the morning, it sings to all the creatures and all the animals of the bush and listens to their words. You will also find a little frog called Tithilik that before the dry season, it fills itself up with water and buries itself deep into the mulch alongside a great quantity of small insects and other animals waiting for the rains to come. The way it was before.
Every morning, Wurio would wake up and walk to the water hole. He would sing to all the animals and all the creatures of the bush and listen to their words. Wurio saw the little frog at the waterhole and sung to him. Tidalik was amazed and asked Wurio, Can you teach me how to sing? Wurio agreed. One, two, three. They sung all day. They sung all through the afternoon, all through the evening. Until dusk. The following morning, Wurio woke up and walked to the waterhole and sang to all the creatures of the bush and listened to their words.
saw the little frog at the water hole and decided to teach him how to sing to the gentle spirits to bring them to heal. Tithalik spent many months practicing the language of music and soon had become an extraordinary vocalist. He also learned to throw his voice like a ventriloquist and to imitate the sounds of the other animals. So one morning he decided to trick Wuriel into making him believe that it was his brother singing at the waterhole. He waits for Wuriel and when he sees him, he starts singing as if he was his brother. This made Wuriel feel very happy. But he soon realized that it was not his brother. It was the little frog imitating his brother. So he said to himself, this little frog has learned to throw his voice like a ventriloquist. And he's creating beautiful music. We must call all the totem people to a great gathering to celebrate his beautiful gift. So he cried out loud, Tidilik, sing with me. Let's call all the totem people and you will share your gift with all.
Thank you.